It is Kiss FM. Let's bring in Big Boy, host of Big Boy's Neighborhood, on our sister, sibling, brother, sister, sibling radio station, Real 92.3. Big Boy is there. Big Boy, can you hear us? Hello, hello, hello. There he is. How are you, buddy? I'm doing amazing, my brother. How art thou? I feel like we're always interrupting you working when you come on. Are you uh, Are you laying down some tracks? Are you doing some commercials? No, nah, I just finished a little something, so I got I got some time. I feel like okay. you're always working. I am. I am. <laughs> yeah. <Uh-oh. laughs> hey, uh, first of all, congratulations. We were talking about this earlier. Today, Big Boy is getting a star on the Walk of Fame. I thought you, I was like, wait a minute, just now? The guy should have had one years ago. So, big deal. Congratulations. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. And you know what? I don't feel I should have had one. Uh, I do. Years ago. Okay, well, there it is. It, it sounds better coming from you, Ryan. So, yeah. You know, now that I'm, I don't want to argue with you, but, yeah, I probably should have had one years ago. But it's God's, <laughs> it's God's timing. You, you got yours, Ryan, what, in 2005, if I'm not mistaken, from what I just looked up? I think, yeah, I think it was early because I was hosting American Idol. And See? we did it in that time when it was, you know, at the top of the TV world. So my calculations are, so they're about accurate. I'm about 15, 16 years behind you on everything. So <laughs> now, now I know. You know what I'm uh, saying? Now it's I also know. Your, it's also your birthday. I mean, what, yeah, what a coincidence man. to be doing this on your birthday. Hey, bro, it is so, it's, it's amazing, bro, to have this really, man, all jokes aside, to have this, this honor, you know? Yeah. But one, just to be blessed yeah. with another calendar as far as blowing out your candles and having another birthday. Yes, that, that's not given. And then to be able to celebrate this with your friends, your family, and all your listeners, bro, like this. I never thought, Ryan, bro, that this would be something that I would have. I didn't think, mm. oh, one day I'm going to have a star. And one day I, I'm a kid that used to walk home from Hollywood because of my friend Frankie and I, we didn't have money for the bus to get home. You know, so I went from homeless to Hollywood, and this this is amazing, bro. Like, I've seen people get their star. I'm going to be a crybaby. Well, yeah. good. I, I'm an advocate of crying. I, I do it all the time. Yes. Thank and you. I, Thank I understand you. that. Let me ask you. I, I, I read how you got your start at Power. Uh-huh. Yes. Is it is it true you were a bodyguard for one of the artists and you met the Baker Boys that way and all of a sudden you guys became friends and eventually you got well, the night job? How'd that happen? I was a bodyguard for a rap group called The Far Side. And I just happened to be friends with the Baker Boys beforehand it, so it wasn't like i went g- took the guys to the station and i met, the met them boys got it i already kind of knew them and i wasn't thinking about radio or you know anything of that nature and one day we went to a barbecue at their boss's house a guy by the name of rick cummings mm. and rick called me up one day he said i have this crazy idea would you like to try to do radio for one night and at that time i was a bodyguard for far side and we were on the Lollapalooza tour I just uh-huh. happened to have that one night off. So I said, yeah, $35 an hour. I'm like, oh, I'll take the $35 an hour. And by the way, hours. double on so holidays. Like, double on holidays. They didn't tell me that, so I doubt that. <laughs> you know, I, I, t- I, I totally doubt that. And, and this was around Memorial Day when this was going down. So they, so now they, they probably owe me another 70, uh, 140 bucks. But we, we, we get that in litigation. And then uh, he called me back the next day and asked if I wanted to try it again. And after two shows of, you know, try it, they gave me the night show. And from there, bro, it's been 27 years. I think that's what makes you great. What Thank makes you. you great is that you didn't study this. You didn't really set out to pursue this. You just became you on a yeah. microphone, and you grew with it, right? Because the things you can do now, you probably couldn't do as well back then, but you grew with it, and you, and you grew yeah. friendships in the audience, meaning the people And I learn every to you. day, too, Ryan. You know, I learn every day. I make a mistake every day. I always knew that I was going to be – in some in entertainment, some form I was going to be in entertainment. So I was already a mobile DJ. I already was doing clubs and house parties and everything. I enjoyed music. Yeah. I enjoyed acting. I enjoyed rapping. So I was throwing everything up against the wall. And so when radio came, I was already kind of a personality, funny anyway. And it was just, hey, go on in there and try it. We're so happy that this happened today. And Dre and George Lopez are going to be there with you too, right? Yeah, you know, they were begging so much. I was like, you know what? Come on down, Dr. Dre. Come on down, George Lopez. You might as well. You know, so, yeah, they'll be there. That's great. Well, Big Boy. Which is huge. Big Boy's Neighborhood. It is big. Uh, the Walk of Fame. He's getting a star of the ceremony. 1130 today. You can see it at walkoffame.com. Take care. Uh-oh. I hope to see you soon, buddy. Man, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay blessed. Thank you.